The Sazerac is a quintessential classic American cocktail. And in this video, I might have found the perfect Sazerac recipe. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. I love Sazeracs. They are my absolute favorite classic, classic cocktail. I am obsessed with this cocktail. I have had many, many in my life, uh, but I might have stumbled upon the perfect Sazerac recipe. It's not really that big of a big reveal or anything. It's just that I'm obsessed with them the way that we used to do them at a place I worked at called Bourbons. But as per my last video, where I did a comparison between a rye only Sazerac and a cognac Sazerac, just to kind of see like the original roots of this cocktail. Um, I also discovered that in the Death and Company cocktail book, which I love and have talked about a million times on this channel, uh, they have a specific recipe for a Sazerac in here that actually blends the rye with the cognac. And so as kind of a follow-up to uh, my last video on Sazeracs, I figured let's make this Sazerac and see how it compares to the other two. But all right, let's get into it. So the, big, the biggest difference between uh, this version of the Sazerac and the ones that I posted in my last video is that this, like I said, has a blend of cognac and rye. It actually uses some Angostura bitters as well, not just the patient. So we're gonna follow this specifically to the Death & Company uh, cocktail book specs. The only difference is I don't have the Vieux Pontelier absinthe. I just have St. George's absinthe, which is good enough and I like it a lot. So we're just gonna roll with that. So the first thing we're gonna do is four dashes of our patient bitters. We are now going to do one dash of Angostura. You might have seen two go in there, but I like bitter, so we're gonna let that one slide. All right, and now we're gonna do an ounce and a half of our Rittenhouse rye. Man, I love this stuff so much. We're gonna do a half ounce of the Pierre Ferrand Cognac. And then this is the other big difference is that instead of just using regular simple syrup, we're actually only gonna do one bar spoon or one teaspoon of Demerara syrup, which is that turbinado sugar syrup. And just do that right in there. And we're gonna fill this bad boy up with some ice, stir it to get it really nice and chilled. And then I have a, a rocks glass in the freezer that's currently chilling down as well. So fill this up to the top, the tippy top. And we are going to Stir this bad boy. I'm really excited about this because uh, if you've been a subscriber to this channel, you'll know how much I love Death & Company's cocktail book. And this is one that I probably sh thought I would have tried a long time ago when I first got my copy of this book. But I always knew that I loved the regular Sazerac the way that I made it. So I never thought to try it with a little bit of cognac and a little bit of rye. Um, but uh, there's always a first time for everything, right? And so having this channel has given me the ability to do that. Um, which has actually one of been, been one of the most rewarding parts about this is that I've been able to explore a lot of different cocktails and a lot of different uh, avenues, I would say, in the cocktail world because I'm preparing these videos for you. But yeah, I'm excited to see what this will taste like. Get this nice and chilled down. It takes quite a while. I'm probably gonna have to cut some of it out just because I'm sitting here in silence, but I am stirring for a long time. So now we're gonna grab our very chilled low ball or rocks glass uh, and I will get my atomizer which is essentially just a perfume bottle filled with absinthe and we are going to give this puppy a couple of spritz, probably like three or four. And we are going to pour out our sazzy. And last but not least, but just as important, we have a nice lemon peel. So I'm not gonna keep the lemon peel in this one, but we are going to express the oils over the top, rim the glass, I'm gonna dunk it in there, and then we're gonna toss this. But all right, let's give this a taste. Just look at that, looks like a Sazerac, nice color, red, pretty beautiful. Ooh, I love the nose on that. I think that smells quite good. That is interesting. 
That is interesting. I like that a lot. I just believe that it's missing a little bit of sweetness. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is, as a test, I like the, the, some people really love the taste of the bitters and some people really love the taste of the rye and the cognac. That's fine. I just, in my Sazerac, because it's something that's so personal to me and how much I loved it, uh, this up until this point is the Death & Company Cocktail Books uh, recipe. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and add another quarter to a half ounce of Demerara and re-stir this and try it one more time just because uh, I haven't fell in love with it quite yet. But you know what? We're gonna do this the first time on camera just to see if maybe you enjoy this. Maybe this is something that you'll try as well. I do like a, a little bit of a sweeter Sazerac. I don't like it to be too uh, spirit forward, I guess. But all right, let's pour this one out one more time. And yes, I probably should have done this all from the beginning, but we're just altering this as we go. This one's kind of off the cuff, if you will. So let's give this one a try now. Oh, wow. That is, see, now when you do something like this, now it changes the whole game. Now this to me is a really good Sazerac. This is, this is competing with my preferred way of making it as my personal favorite. Like this right here is excellent. I think the addition of the Angostura bitters is good. It kind of helps cut some of the sweetness from the Peychauds, but I think a little bit more Demerara instead of a bar spoon and maybe doing like three quarters of an ounce might be the way to go on this one for me. And I think that by doing it with cognac and the rye, it almost uh, honors the tradition of the cocktail a little bit more. So this right here is out of this world good, man. This is really good. Um, the Death & Company, their whole team there, they know what they're doing. Uh, I highly recommend you check it out their book. I highly recommend you make one of yourself one of these. That is excellent. I'm a big fan. But there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you can come on over here, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell icon right next to it to never miss out on any of the videos that I post. On this channel, I post cocktail recipes, my favorite spirits. I talk about bartending and bartending tips and tricks and what it's like to own my own restaurant and bar. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, I really implore you to come and hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every single week, sometimes twice a week. We're always exploring really cool things in the cocktail world. And I hope that this video was a cool insight into a kind of a blend of the, the two traditional ways to make a Sazerac for something that is new and unique and really, really cool. Uh, so. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this version of the Sazerac. Have you had one at Death & Company? Have you ever done a split base with cognac and rye? Let me know what you think. I'm always looking to interact with the folks who comment in the videos, and it means the world to me if you do leave a comment. So I would really appreciate that if you could. But that's enough from me. I have an amazing cocktail to finish drinking, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.